The advent of the drone camera gives we rail fans a clearer view of trackage and where it goes. This is Lakeland Junction in Florida, one of my go-to rail fanning places. It's not really my spot. I learned it from rail fans who'd been here before me, like Stanley Jakowski, Vince Rister, and Fred Clark Jr. This is the Vitus subdivision coming in from the top of the screen, joining the Lakeland sub of the A-Line. This looks pretty sleepy today, but 50 years ago, it was the non-stop center of Lakeland industrial activity. Off to the left in that now grassy field was ACL's Lakeland Yard, a 24-7 flat switching center for Bone Valley, perishable fruit, inbound public supermarket traffic, and dozens of other customers. In the 1980s, this yard closed and everything was moved to Winston Yard, four miles to the west. To the right, in the now grassless field, was the giant Florida Tile Factory, another 24-7 beehive. The two leads off the Vita sub form a Y, though I've never seen a train turned on it. On the north leg, train Q453 sits in this now quiet area. He's been here since just after sunrise, awaiting a new crew to take him to Hialeah Yard in Miami. Leading this heavy loaded train are engine 3074, a GE ES44 C-H, and engine 5214, a GE ES44 DC. Just before 1300, the outbound crew arrives, and 15 minutes later, they're ready to go to Miami. But first, they've got to get permission from the dispatcher to move the train. Four fifty three oh three, over. Yes, sir. Four fifty three outbound, on board, ready to depart here in Lakeland. Connection. Northbound, we should take it over. Okay, to proceed from where you stand, picking up signal indication. JRM, over. And off he goes. 103 loads, 15 empties. 8,000 feet of business for the South Florida coast. This shiny blue Florida March day makes an easy shot at the Kathleen Road overpass. Another go-to Lakeland spot is Winston Y at Gay Road. Because this is the entrance to Winston Yard, this is where most Lakeland action can be found. A staple is Q604, outbound evening freight to Waycross, Georgia. 60 Q604 aboard 7709, North Atlantic lead to the South Leading Lake is 7709, a first generation GE wide cab. It's a Dash 840 CW in original yellow nose two colors. Because 604 is a daily run, he frequently carries engines dead in tow from servicing at the big locomotive shops at Rice Yard and Waycross. And today he's got a passel of them. The term dead in tow or dead in consist doesn't mean the engines are broken down. It merely indicates they're units that are not operating or pulling in this train. Today, Q604 is outbound via the South Y to Plant City and the S-Line to Wildwood. He's a long train today, the better part of 10,000 feet, about half loads and half empties. The two-aspect dwarf signal protects the South Y entrance to Winston at the stem soon to be replaced by a regular full-sized signal. New signals are going in all over this territory. I think dwarf signals are going to be rare in coming years. CSX is getting rid of them all over Florida. CQ 60404, 9709, slow clear. South end, Winston, side of the main south. 604 came out and went south instead of his usual right turn to the north. 
today because there was a small brush fire near the tracks between Winston and South Lakeland. Firefighters were actually on the track at one point, so the JF dispatcher held everyone until it was all over. And that included a very late Amtrak 91 coming out from his Tampa stop. And Amtrak 92 headed into Tampa. That's four miles away thanks to a digital zoom. Not a great shot, but you get the idea. When the fire ended, the dispatcher turned everyone loose. 92 first. We have a medium approach right here in South Lake and over here we go. He was running on time, but 91 was four hours late. And I guess when you already have a trainload of angry passengers, five minutes isn't gonna make any difference. 92 creeps down beneath the signal bridge at North Winston Y. The structure, its aluminum paint almost entirely bled through to the red rust-oleum, is serving out its last few days. Like an old man still at his job after 70 years. The youngsters standing by to take over, but it'll take two of them to do the old man's job. PO 92, local 167, got a restricting south end of the Winston Y, southbound out. Restricting 92 out. Got a hot rail uh, coming our way for uh, 91 over. Yeah, he's on the, uh, gonna be on the siding here, south end of Winston, the engineer's side. It took about three hours, but we got four trains and only had to drive about five miles between places. It's why Lakeland is one of my go-to spots. Please hit the like button if you like this video and subscribe here on the channel. Until next time at milepost A854.5, this is Danny Harmon, out.